did you know that Angel's mom has in the past applied to be part of the Big Brother Night the show? Are you surprised? Well, I am. It's your girl Azimay Williams. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you're new to this channel, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Okay, guys, did you know that Angel's mom has in the past applied to be part of the Big Brother Night the show? Are you surprised? Well, I am. Well, she put this out on her Instagram page as she was addressing the people that were dragging her daughter, the people that were obviously dragging her, and she was not having it, so she had to put this out. And you know, it's in there, I love to read things like this. Um, she says, a lot of you don't know that before I asked my daughter to go for BBN, me and my girl at Chef Yade, I think this Chef Yade is actually, I think the wife to Big Bread Kuti, I'm not sure, has been trying to go for it. But something always comes up that we had to cancel it. So if you come to my page to insult me, I swear on the woman that gave birth to me, I will insult you before I block you. Now from this write up that she put on her Instagram page, it means that she was actually the one that asked Angel to go for the show. Wow. Well, some people were of the opinion that she should not be too involved, you know, with Angel and her journey in the Big Brother Niger house because BB Niger fans don't really like a lot of family interference. I mean, we saw that a lot last season. Family here, Putin Mountain, they don't really like it. And I stand by that too, you know, no matter how much she's, you know, being the mommy bear, I also think she should like tone it down a bit. Be like Angel's dad. I mean, Angel's dad is the one that is handling her Instagram or social media pages. You know, rarely would he come out to show that it's him. You know, we even got to find out, you know, that he is the one handling her Instagram and social media pages from Angel herself. She said it um once or twice um in the show you know so and one thing i like about him is you won't even know like the way he posts you know unless you know you've been very very attentive that's why you get to find out okay that's angels that anyways that's about it and in this video i'm also going to introduce to you jackie's baby daddy now we already know who jackie is Probably some of us have seen her son, who I will not put her, his picture here, but the picture is on Jackie's page. And a lot of us know Jackie's mom, you know, um, she's Senator Grace Bent, yes. And in this video, I'm going to be introducing to you Jackie's baby daddy. Yes, she has talked about him a lot on the show. And they, they went together for seven years, if I'm not mistaken. And due to um some differences they had they had to like break up yes um i remember one conversation that jackie was having with tega you know they were talking about i think it was the early stages of the game you know where they were talking about you know experiences you know being a mom and all that and she mentioned it because tega was kind of very inquisitive to know why she and her baby daddy are no longer together so this is his picture guys he is somehow somehow kid wire's friend now i asked myself why is it that kid wire is always in the mix of all these guys i mean from lipo rose's ex to jackie's baby daddy they'll really be surprised when they come out and they find out that they have a mutual friend in kid wire somehow somehow if that actually makes sense you know and the thing is his Instagram page is on the lock and key. You can't even see anything. His profile picture is not his face. He put some kind of weird picture there. His name is Hafiz. He's from Kaduna State. I think he's about 33 years old, if I'm not mistaken. They met, you know, outside Nigeria. The guy is a proper big boy from what I heard. Like, he is loaded. He is rich. And no, before you people start talking about whatever it is you people want to talk about, he actually takes care of the son. He loves his son so much. From what I heard, he does not joke with his son at all, at all. Yes, guys. So he's one of those popular big boys, you know, in the abroad. Yes. So now you all can, you know, understand when Jackie says the kind of guys she dates 
outside the Big Brother Niger house that Michael might not even come close. So now we have a proper understanding of that. Okay, guys, so moving on from that. So Big Brother has got something for us today, being Monday. We all know we are having our head of house games by 6 p.m., nominations by 7 p.m., but it looks like... Hey, hey, it looks like everybody except the head of house is going to be put up for possible eviction. Now, they put out this flyer and said, head of house or nothing, expect the unexpected. Tune in for a special head of house challenge by 6 p.m. today. So whatever you are doing, wherever you are, make sure you do not miss it because Big Brother ends playing. I mean, we've always, you know, um, clamored for this. A lot of people are like, do not let people to sleep their way to the top. Some people are not being active in the house. You know, put everybody up for possible eviction. So what do I think about this? It's a welcome development to me, oh. Like, if they put everybody up for eviction, except for the head of house, so that people will not be hiding. We've seen a lot of people do, like, they're just like, you know, I don't know, sleep their way all day there, there are some people that you know when people go into the diary room they can't even remember them because they try to hide they like somebody like um peace always in um going into people's cliques even liqua rose mentioned that there are other people in the house that are not active so be putting all of them off a possible eviction will actually stir things up and make them all understand that be better and joking with the viewers and joking and this is the game yes guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section and like i said no matter what you do make sure you don't miss it but you can afford to miss it because i'm here to give you guys all the tea even though dsv came for me today people of god if you've not seen my community post about the strike i got for the very first time in how many years i'm getting a copyright strike so this is a special um a public service announcement to all you that always say, oh, is it that you talk too much? Is it they show us clips? Well, I've tried to show clips more than I usually do, and that is what got me into this mess. So from today onwards, in fact, from this video onwards, expect little or no clips. I'm just going to be putting it, putting it out there. I know my people, the people that love me will still be here. I know some of you might run, it's okay, it's fine, but I am not going to be jeopardizing my channel for anybody. I've worked so hard for this, you know, I've worked, put in, I've had sleepless nights for this and having, you know, to see it taken away from you because you are trying to please people that might not even have your back. That's sad, and I don't want to put myself in that. Yes, you know, they gave me the copyright strike, they took down the videos, and I've decided, if you've noticed, you know, my recent videos, I've put them all up for, um, I put them private because I did not want any problem. As you see me like this, I don't like Wahala. I've always been one person that obeys all the rules. So that's it, guys. So I'm begging for your understanding. You know, I am not the owner of those clips. I own, I don't own multi choice. I don't own DSTV. So it's their property. However, they want us to do it. Whatever they want to do, they have hundred percent right. And yeah, that's it. I can't even argue with them. I can't even say, oh, is it yet? No, it's their property, their intellectual property. You know, so whatever they want to do with it, however they want to handle it, whoever they want to give free hand to, whoever they want to cut, is theirs. Is their decision to make. All I'm just pleading with them as I send them a mail is to take away that strike. I do not want it. I do not want it. I don't like Wahala. Yes, guys. So bear with me, guys. I know this might just be not so cool. But if you are patient enough, your girl is going to be supplying all the live streams, you know, from the whole media rounds. What Maria said, what JMK says, what Ah, trust your girl. I'm going to be bringing that. So for those ones, unlimited video for all of you because it's a live stream and we are all free. Yes. Yeah, so yes, trust your girl to bring you guys the undiluted, unfiltered gist and giving you my 100% analysis. Thank you guys so very much for being part of my channel. If you've not already subscribed, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video till i come your way again i remain your darling girl azine williams have yourself a beautiful day ahead